Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today I will be reading again from my blog. Today's subject is Love wins in the end with passionate love and delight. Love wins in the end. Love heals. Love repairs. Love gives you courage. Love gives you strength. I will do whatever I can. Love will always be the strongest tool in your arsenal. Passion will shine through. You will find the way through love with light. You will make anything possible. You will always find a way. Love with light, love with bliss, love with passion. Shining light, shining passion. You are love. You are powerful. You are divine. You are magical. You are love. You are light. There is no law above. Do what thou wilt. Love is the law. Love under well. Passion, O、oh、passion, guiding love. I will find a way. I will do whatever it takes for my passion, for the love that I have. Love, 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 and in love, flaming passion. Soul blazing a light and love. I can do anything. I will do whatever it takes. I will find a way. I will soar with my passion. Flaming love, flaming passion. Soul blazing love and light. There is no law above. Do what thou wilt. Love is the law. Love under will. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic will be light language, a continuing theme into this year. I have done so many. Sometimes it promotes transits, transitions, and oh my God, this is so cold. This is freezing. This is ice cold. Oh my god, that is so cold. Wow. Wow, that is so cold. I will not be editing any of today's videos, seeing if the viewers like. The unedited better than the edited, because eventually I will run out of space if I continue to edit. Because the edited takes more space away, like double it, it, it like doubles the original unedited file. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, the lighting is the natural well. 
I know that the NASA on light video was really terrible. Now I'm looking back at it. Um, however, I wanted to do the not so light because I know transfiguration would happen in low light. And I notice in my trans videos, light language videos, that in low light, the spirit comes out more. It resonates more. You can see it better, well as if it was in broad daylight, the spirit would not come through as good or as powerful. Low light tends to show things different. It can be more, uh, the spirit can come through better in low light. So hopefully I will capture something, I don't know. I will try to acquire the wing, um, the wings, maybe, if I, I don't even know how I did it in the first place, I just put, I just modeled, not even thinking about the wings and it still captured it. How? I have no idea. I don't know. It, it just happened. So there's that. Uh, hopefully I will capture something. I will... That, that is distracting me. This is not something distracting me. Okay. The wind was literally like back here in the photo. Except I would just face him this way. Don't know if the image was flipped or not. So I don't know if that is a thing when I captured it. I know right now the camera, I flipped it to be this is my right hand. I know that. Instead of it being flipped and it would do do it on this side. So, never. And there goes the video being processed. <laughs> Okay, now that that is out of the way, let us try to capture something in this low light and see what happens. I will fall into a trance as usual and see what happens. The bracelet is helping with that. I can feel the wings like being there like like curved upward again cur curving upward and being powerful I can feel that that energy I'm trying to tap into it and to make it come out further Hopefully I can capture something. Yeah, I can feel the energy being very potent right now, very powerful. I'm trying 
my best to capture something, to capture this essence. Between my hands, I can actually see something forming, like a ball of energy. I can also feel heat between my hands. And I can see flashes of aura below. But it's also like black because of my hair and the outfit I am wearing. There is something on my left side. A black, I don't even know what it is. Oh, that's the chair being deformed. Oh, that's funny. There is, you got to be kidding me, right here, it looks like there is a hand with a fist like this, but look at that, was this my arm? <laughs> I, I came out of that trance and this literally was like in a, a fist, like I literally saw this but as smaller and then when I came out of the trance oh is this my sh my shoulder now well, that's a uh, Francis for you also this tends my face tends to be very ancient looking like I have white uh, just just white um, eyebrows and like a white mustache <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know, I just have like these accents like right here and like my cheekbones are like just white. Even right here is like white when I fall into a trance. I look like an old man. <laughs> I don't know, I guess that's just my masculine coming through. Because even everyone has feminine and masculine, you cannot be one without the other. And this is without me even speaking light language. I wanted to do do it without it with speak the light language second if I could capture something and I did. Hopefully it shows through the video. I'm not even sure at this point what will happen. I don't know. This this is just new. Okay, trying to get some of my hair forward because I'm actually hot right now. Uh, as mothering is a better term. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fall into a trance again. Wait, before I do that, let me see what happens if I can do a full scale preview. Great, it's on the other freaking monitor. Great. So that kind of does not work. Uh, let me see if I can get it on the other. No, it. Frick. 
I don't know why it is that. Unless... Wait, I know. Let me... Screen resolution and flip my main. Display to click OK. No, that's not it. Identify. Okay. So I just need. How do. Mmm. Oh. Now I see it. Make this my main. Okay, maybe that'll fix the OBS preview full screen thing. Ah, technical difficulties. Preview was the preview. Oh, now you show up? That is so funny. Okay, we are in full screen. I have to minimize this one or that will drive me insane. Okay. Okay. Falling into a trance. Hopefully, something will happen when I speak light language. Right here is just a black and dot. I guess this is a shadow. Um, I can see there's a white, like a claw. Following my dragon showing through. I'm doing this first before I speak. Trying to figure out where to put my hands. Kolo Kakala Isola Sono Simi Kolo Kakala Makala Okolo Ivala Valokolo Isola Sono Simi Sakala Bakala Okolo Ikala Kono Ikasano Isala solo ikala kokolo Ivala vanasuna Isala sun sikala Kokoma kekala Ikala kosuna
e sana sonu sile e me makana e vana vana kono ke kala kasuna e sana sonu siki ki ke kenu e vana vana kono ke kala kokoma matana osuma E sana sonu makana Dona dikana makana okono Dona dikana Ivana vanokono makana asuna De sana sonu sakana E kana o kono matana asana E sine sono sana sama kono E vana vana kono ki kana kosono sine sakana that's a bit of that nothing really the scene except for since my screen is blue that blue light from the monitor those but in the trance it was more powerful there was more blue if, if that makes any sense so like in the corner like down here there was this blue like a blue border going around and very more a, a deep rich blue if that makes any sense beyond that nothing else was really seen nothing really happened and then my cat distracted me you cannot lose your focus it is very important not to lose your focus. If I capture something, I don't know. Hopefully I caught something maybe in the background or something, I don't know. But since the light is not as dimmed as I need it to be, since this Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic will be ending the confusion of my brand. A new slide has been made by slide, I mean presentation, which took me hours to make non-stop I don't even remember how many hours I put into this thing. So, yeah, hours. <laughs> well, okay, well, I think it's, yes. Okay, so, why did you just, for me, since, <laughs> yeah, buddy bloopers, why do I sit th sit and do something until it is complete I do not know I when I start something I do it until it is finished I do not I don't know why that is. I sit and do the work until it is complete. 
this goes for my artwork as well, not just uh, presentations from my YouTube. And that is why I said hours, but that was non-stop. I am just one of those people who are a perfectionist and a person who does the work until it is complete. If, and I mean when, if this was for school, I would wait until the last minute and then grind it out. If it's not for school, it's a complete different story, so yeah, I have no idea why that it was like that. Uh, then again, I hated school, did not enjoy it. I felt, looking back at school, brain dead. You're around people who are not enlightened, and you're just, eh. It, it, it could kill less about school. I don't know what it's like in a university or a college, but before that, you're around brain dead people like zombies. Well, why I said that was I'm completely off topic, but I need to say this because if I don't, I will forget about it. Okay, so me and my ex was joking about how the physical, the real world, meaning the people you work with, you walk around next to Neo in the stores and whatever, those people are usually what? Christians who follow the Bible and the US. I uh, don't know what it's like overseas, but chances are you're a Christian and even more so, chances are you care about celebrities, the pop culture, what makeup should I wear? What dress should I wear? Do I want to look like trash? Like ghetto folk who don't, who could care less about what they look like. Uh, I don't know. Like, does this have a bad repu- They have a bad reputation. That's why it's kind of stuck in my head that they gain banners, just look like trash because the pants are to the waist and whatever. Uh, and uh, what I saw in middle school is just, it's all bad. So, knowing what I know now from the media, the mainstream, it's all trash and the brain dead. And me and my ex was joking that, oh, those zombies because they're like lifeless and they have no soul, they'll, they'll uh, fully asleep, they have no idea that they are in the matrix and they, they do not know about ghosts. Most of these people do not even believe in ghosts. Most of the people were taught that anything outside the Bible is evil. I was parented to believe that everything outside the Bible was evil. Magic symbols, everything. Pagans, witches, Wiccans, all of it related to the occult is said to be evil which includes paganism and Wicca. If it's outside the church, it is the occult. Not really true. From what I have found out from my own research, but that was a childhood of being taught that everything outside the Bible is evil. So, 
it makes you wonder how many people are going to wake up and know that they were taught wrong. Do you happen to just wake up magically one day and say, you know what, everyone was wrong? It makes you wonder what actually goes on, and that actually is what I wrote earlier, but I left out major parts. Um, again, this is just completely off topic, so I'm going to actually end that though, and on to the presentation at hand, but I needed to say that actually since we are on the same subject I can actually just read since I am on the same subject of my post that I wrote earlier I will just read it because I landed into it I was not planning on that I was planning on reading the spirit presentation of what is my brand and instead my brain was like let's talk about the zombies in the world who don't know that they are zombies let me load it Okay, this was written two hours ago, so it's still floating in my brain. Okay, I showed a meme that says, quote, they, let me just do this, they took our knowledge of spirituality gave us a false religion and tricked us into believing our own knowledge was evil. And by they, it can mean your parents, their forefathers, basically history, anyone in the government, politics, the the church, religion, the anyone in a high ranking person in society, which again would be, well, anyone who has great power in the media will therefore tell us things that are not true. And this trend has been going on for eons centuries. This is nothing new. We are now beginning to wake up and the mainstream is changing from nonsense back into spirituality. Let that sink in. A person told me that you are your own master. Your spirit will guide you. That is, my argument is this. What if you are not enlightened and was taught your entire life that anything outside the church was evil? Because it was the occult. What happens then? Can your spirit lead you to become enlightened or will you be doomed, doomed to become brain worst and brain dead? I have a, a good example of this. I do not 
I want to say how I know this, but I will just say this. I was told I was supposed to be baptized, that I was supposed to go to church on a daily, well, every Sunday. However, when I was born, they could not baptize me because uh, that's just, th there was a reason why that never happened. And I am grateful. Why? I have this family member who was born before me, who was baptized, probably, who was born into the Bible, born into the church because all of our family was Christians. Christians. What happened to her? What, what happens to everyone? He was not awake. He was trapped in the matrix and do not even know. Who do not believe in aliens, who do not believe in ghosts, or the paranormal, or anything spirituality for that matter. I feel her energy and it pains me to say this. She is not awake. She doesn't know about spirit sovereignty. She is tied, chained to the church. And it pains me to even acknowledge that. Because that could have been me. That could have been me if I was baptized, went to church as a small child, even I, I cannot express that. To this day, her spirit never woke up. She never woke up. That could have been me. How did I wake up? Stumbling through... I don't even... I don't even know how it happened. It just did, but I was not baptized, and I think that's how it happened for me. Everyone has their own awakened story, how they woke up. For me, it was because I was not baptized, and I, Goog I googled about Satan. However, I discovered that people view him as a symbol, a, a symbol, not a real being, but a, a symbol. And uh, the, the symbol from what I remember is strength or um, uh, the, the Lucifer story, why he stood up uh, to to God and why he was cast out. And the whole give people that forbidden fruit to gain knowledge. I questioned, okay, why is that apple? Why is that knowledge forbidden? Then it hit me after I woke up. Because of what happened in slavery. If you could not read, could not write, you had no power. Let that sink in. You had no power because you could not read or write. So you were just um, powerless. You had no... It's hard to describe it because... Because we, we are taught 
how to read and write, how to basically think and operate. And it's just like, okay, if it's just hard to imagine what that would be like. Knowledge is power. When you know things, you gain power. You begin to see falseness. And that is why knowledge is, was forbidden and still is forbidden in certain areas or countries outside the U.S. Knowledge is power. With it, we can overthrow people, overthrow society, and make a new one. If, but again, these are just how I see the world. History teaches us where we were and where we are headed. That has never been more true. And this is goes um, hand in hand with with what I am about to read. But they they gave us a false deity. The Bible to me is nothing but lies. Read it closely and you will see things for yourself. An example on how you would react is, oh my god, what the fuck? Me, I have never read any Bible stories. None. However, being in the society that we are, it is thrown at you anyways. Certain stories. Like, for instance, how does this even happen? Okay. You know the story of the virgin. Mary, okay? Think about that. She has never had mated with anyone before. Ends up with a kid. How? She had to have been with a guy. There is no way, no way that you can have a kid without the male genes inside. Somehow, she winds up with a kid being a virgin. How does that make any sense? It, it really doesn't make any sense. That is good, one good example, but also I could go further. She shut herself up from love. It is a blasphemy to a certain goddess. I read this in the Vision and the Voice. I do not remember what chapter because that was over 30. However, that book to me is true. Because I do not resonate with the Bible. Anyone who quotes it is brain dead, is a zombie. That is the book of lies and they cannot help but to quote it over and over and over again. And therefore is the enemy of the Lima. Be. Why, are why if they quote the book? Brain, you're not working. 
Why are they the enemy when they quote nothing but the Bible? Thalema means well. Well in turn refers to spirit, refers to the soul. If you're quoting that book, you're not really speaking from your soul. It says, there is so many things wrong with the Bible that None of it sits well with me. For starters, they kicked out all the pantheons and made it into one god, which makes no sense. Saying all the pantheons are evil. Wicca, paganism, all of it. Outside the church, it's evil and from multiple gods to just one, it makes no sense. You, you, it makes absolutely no sense to me. I was always uh, poly uh, with the deities. I always felt a connection to why there were multiple, why not just one. It, one just does not sit one does not sit well with me. I do not resonate with having just one God. It doesn't make sense to me because uh, take for instance the Egyptian pantheon. They had a God for practically everything if in my understanding from what I've read. So we had a, a deity for uh, mothers given birth for, for like production um, we had a cat goddess who I forget what she represented um, you had Sekhmet who is the, a field or loved sees a balance between anger, a war God, uh, a war goddess, and a healer. Uh, she's a mixed, uh, a mixer of that. Um, but for me, she represents, yes, she can be very angry, people feel her, or you can be blessed by her and get healing from or other things I have uh, felt and read. Um, you had Thoth, who has the emerald tablets uh, that he recorded, uh, who gave us knowledge. Um, we have Patal, who created things, uh, structures, I believe. We have Set, who is a different god, but I forget his bull. Um, you, you have Anub Anubis guiding souls to the afterlife, or was that, oh, there's like so many that is just complicated to even remember everything and to just discuss. Basically, you have a, a deity for everything. How can you go from having multiple to just one? It, doesn't make any sense. But that is, again, just my opinion, and what else do doesn't make sense? I'm just going to Google. Let's see what I can find out. Um... I don't. Uh, 
Okay. Here's one. I don't know the, the full story, but I have heard of it. Okay, God made the world in seven days. Nothing came before him, and yet created everything after. How does that make any sense? Science. Come on. The Big Bang Theory? How the universe came to be? Magma? Dinosaurs? Um... Also does not support uh, same marriage, like love, like lesbian marrying a lesbian, they love each other, and all love should be treated equal, all love should be cherished, and Apparently, that is not the case with the Bible. Yes, it's kind of a weird territory to explain, uh, to uh, not explain, but just to give your point of view, and it, it just, why? It makes you question it. Oh, here's one. Um, my religion makes no sense and does not help me, therefore I pursue it. I'm kind of legit because Oh, I know what makes no sense. Leaving it in God's hands. You have medicine, right? That you can take or go to the hospital. And yet, these religion nuts say, No, if it's my time to go, let it be, because that is what God wants. Why? That makes absolutely no sense. You have tools to save yourself, and yet you refuse, saying if God lets you live, you will. No. I mean, the list goes on. But those are just from what I have encountered from everything. Now on to the Axel project. 30 minutes late, but... Okay. Born into a society that that hides everything. Hides what? Well, aliens visited this planet aeons ago, left stuff here for us to discover, and yet our government has lied about aliens do not exist. Even the church says aliens do not exist. And then people say, we are the only living thing in the cosmos. How can that be? You have billions and billions of planets that could be habitable or we have not discovered yet, or we did discover it, but it is hide it, hidden from us. Because the truth would ensue mass panic, or I don't even know 
this is most panic comes to mind. Well, think why are you there? Okay. No. I'm trying to zoom in and it's not letting me. I lost. Okay. Sift through the garbage of glamour, celebrities, pop culture, rap, and whatever else that the media loves to distract you away from the spirit. Born into the matrix, born into heel pressure, most will follow the wrong crowd without realizing it. Trapped in a world while soul no longer is mainstream. Slowly, the spirit is coming back into the mainstream. Society just sucks. Corporate sucks. Working a job you hate, but you do it anyways just to pay the bills and get food. Why work? for bullies and other people who don't like you when you can change jobs and find the one you are comfortable with or work for yourself and do what you love. Why put up with the stress? Become stress free. We lost knowledge about the spirit, the astral, the deities, and who knows what else. We are slowly getting that all back and more, shaping our earth with the real truth. Who cares about politics, religion, and other things that no longer serve the soul? It is your job in this life to wake up, to wake back up, but at the same time, it is so damn hard to do so with all this heel pressure and media shaping you as you grow up. You have to wade through the junk. Slowly, success, slowly, society is mainstreaming the spirit more and more. That is all I can say, really. Each of us see the world we live in different. My opinion, religion no longer serves me. Pop culture no longer serves me. Fashion serves me, but not to the extreme. For example, I no longer care about what styles are in and looking hip. Same thing with makeup. A good example to put what I am trying to say into layman words is this example, what happens when your parents taught you that anything outside of Christ and the church are evil? What then? How can you decide for yourself that certain things are not evil when you were told over and over and over again 
that they were in the first place to be evil. Do you just magically wake up one day and know that they are not evil? Do you have a person to show you that it is not evil? Did a person talk to you and help you decide for yourself that it is not evil? So many questions for you to think upon. This conversation has been happening between me and my ex multiple times. However, he took it to the extreme. To the extreme, I mean why people get divorced, why they put up their kids for adoption or deal with child support or even outside of the U.S. why people are forced to marry someone because of the volition. Wait, I take that one back because that is a thing and he had a person want out of the marriage but had a kid and was trying to get to the U.S. through him, but it fell through. Uh, a forced marriage based because of the villainism, but he went to the extreme to say, these people are unhappy, and you can tell by the facial expressions, and yet they do not have the power or authority to do anything about it. He also talked about why people stare at you, like, oh, you're with that lady? You should be with me. And other useless things. I thank you for your time, and I regret dragging this post out so long. I regret dragging it all out. However, at the same time, it needed to be said. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again. One last thing before I forget, most people nowadays, if you're in the gaming community and you are a pro, all you care about is winning matches in PvP. And you will rage quit if you do not get your way, so there are toxic people everywhere. But again, those people are not asleep. Those people are asleep. They do not care about their soul, or anything for that matter, except winning. And if they do not get the way, they rage quit and cry. And that is... Now, everything that I needed to say on this subject. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again.